All right, everyone. Amanda got us off to a very good start in Steubenville. Now we're going to head over to Heath and hang out with Gary. Uh, he's done weekly gaming sessions for us that have really gone well. And every week we get into some pretty intense conversations about the games and then just get different consoles because obviously we have a lot of different fans out there. So done a lot on PlayStation, but uh, I know we have Switch fans and Xbox and everything else. So, you know, we're open to all your questions. But now we're going to head over to Licking County and join Gary. So have fun. Hello, guys. Um, so it's a Thursday afternoon or morning, I guess, so 11 a.m. And uh, I have had some issues with my PlayStation 4, and I feel like that I brought it upon myself because I said last week I switched to the PlayStation 4 because I had no issues with it because I had issues with the Xbox 360. So um, I was unable to download a couple games. So I am getting a new uh, PlayStation 4 because uh, my PlayStation 4 is under warranty. So I'm actually going to use my son's. And uh, unfortunately, um, it's going to have to wait another week for Spyro. And um, uh, sorry, blanking Far Cry. But I did bring a really cool game I think you guys will enjoy uh, that my son and I play often. It's called Borderlands 3. Uh, just to be fair, it's uh, M for Mature. And uh, there's blood and gore, intense, violent sexual themes and strong language. So the reason why I did want to bring this up, though, is um, if you look at the the price here, let me see if I can find my picture. Let's see. You see where it says 99 99 um, And this is like a pay as you play type thing. Uh, I waited, I think this has been maybe six months and I got the super deluxe edition for, I think I actually got it for 39 99 because of like coupons you get from GameStop and stuff like that. So, um, I'm glad I got it because uh, it is a fun game, but I am glad I waited the six months to get it at half price. So um, anyhow, um, I have been playing some additional games. I see some questions. Okay. So, and what I'm going to do is... I'm going to unmute the interpreters for me the, real quick. So, and then if you guys have questions or concerns, you can feel free to type them um, in the bottom here. Sorry. There you go. I might actually have to mute you guys because I think it'll switch to your, or I might have to remute you guys. Um, because I think it'll go to the screen view or whatever. The interpreters, I'm sorry. Um, anyhow, so um, I've been playing actually several different games this week, and uh, I played Spyro for a little bit before my on my um, on my PlayStation Two actually, and uh, just kind of get familiar, familiarized on it. And it's a fun game, uh, so I will definitely bring it back in. Uh, but I do want to I do want to go over Borderlands Three for a little bit um, because I know some individuals were interested in Ghostbusters and um, um, Far Cry and Assassin's Creeds and and games like this and uh, I don't know if you guys have played any of the other Borderlands but uh, Borderlands Three really keeps the same visual um guidelines and the same flow which i think is important for a game uh hasn't really changed anything except made the maps bigger and more guns more violence win-win so um uh let's see here real quick all right i'm gonna go ahead and uh go and put this over here I'm turn off some lights must have my players too 
。ああ、来たな。That's a little horrible. Hold on a second here. All right. So Borderlands Three is、um, it's a third-person shooter actually with、uh, first-person availability.、Um, you start out. Where you can choose from、uh, several different characters, and then how you start out with most games, you get to choose normal or easier or however you want to start out. Actually, after you beat the game, you can go to a more difficult level,、uh, which again just makes the game more fun the more difficult it is. So,、um, and then you get to choose from、uh, cooperative mode and.、Uh, Uh, competition mode. Basically, you're fighting over weapons, or you guys can work together. So, so you want to hear a story?、Huh? So this is just、uh, the get go. I think this is a pretty lengthy intro. I don't know if I can skip it or not. So if you played Borderlands two or one, you'll recognize the voice in the the background for being the arms dealer. Yeah, we can go and skip this. So, um, now、yeah, we'll skip all this just to kind of. So you get to choose from、um, four different、uh, characters.、Uh, Amara is a siren. Basically, you get、um, I, we'll call them magical powers. Flack is、uh, he's kind of like a beast、uh, beast master. Actually, it's exactly what it says: a beast master,、um, where you can control different animals or whatever the case may be.、Uh, Zane, which oddly enough, my son chose Zane because his name Zane is just、um, he just gets different gadgets and、uh, drones and whatnot. And then、uh, Moe's here、uh, gets to turn into like a, like a mech, which is really fun. So、um, uh, I'm not.、Uh, we'll go ahead and choose somebody I haven't played before. Actually, I'm on. Let's see here. I just skipped through all the intro and stuff.、Um, Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over just a real basic tutorial. If you played any of this, this is Claptrap. He was in, I think he was in both of them actually. So, the reason why I probably won't go too far into any more than the tutorial because you can't really see the skill trees、um, if you do it this way. So, real quick. So you just gave me basically the HUD that every video game gives you, where you can look at your map and your skills and your weapons, and it's pretty standard. And this is this sticks to, I mean, very similar to the other Borderlands where. You don't even get a shield until I think you're like level seven or five or seven. I can't remember. Also, I have horrible allergies,、um, so if I feel if I sound a little hoarse, that would be the reason why. So the other thing I really like about this game. Is the humor is、uh, I don't know it's very ch- I don't want to say it's childish but it is it makes me makes me giggle so a lot of dad jokes and stuff in there and so they make me make me laugh so、um, this、uh, this machine that you're in it allows you to change your your appearance and it also lets you respect. Your、uh, character, which we don't have nothing on our skill tree yet, 
So uh, we'll go ahead and just uh, go just real, not too far into this. So basically what the tutorial does is like all of them, it shows you how to duck, jump, punch, kick, switch your weapons. Um, most games like this, I, I did Call of Duty, I think last week. Um, they always have like a waypoint like this triangle. So it tells you where to go. Or diamond, it's not triangle, diamond, sorry. And uh, you know, just kind of follow it where the diamond tells you to go. One of the things that I, I don't like about this game is that the, it's kind of like a Assassin's Creed where they oversatur oversaturated the amount of missions you have. Uh, let me see if I can pull up the map real quick. So this is, this is the very first map. And uh, I mean, this is honestly probably the smallest one. Um, and all the other map, because you're going to different worlds and whatever. So you'll go to different worlds and you'll have different maps that are this size, if not, if not bigger. And then there'll be multiple sites that you can go in a world. So there's a lot of exploration to do. Sorry, Claptrap makes me uh, giggle. He's doing a low crawl there as a robot. All right, sorry here. Uh, hey, Nick, sorry I saw you, saw you popped in there. Go over here real quick. So we're supposed to be really stealth here. And then he blows up the area, which is great. Anyhow, so uh, back to the, the controls. Your, uh, the real basic, your square button is your uh, action button. Your right trigger is your shoot button. You can zoom in with your left, your L2. So fairly easy. And then we got he, nice of them to give us ammunition. The one thing that is different um, is that um, you have different modes for your weapons now. So I either just have a regular pistol um, or I have, I can shoot little rockets. So So I'm actually going to go ahead and leave this and then go to one of the other characters where I can at least show you a skill tree or two and kind of go into more how the missions work. Because the, honestly, the, the beginning of this game is painfully slow. Um, but so um, I was able to transfer these over from my from my uh, PS4, so I at least have some familiarity with them. All right, so we'll go ahead and go over the Beast Master first. So continue the game. Am I alive? Nope. Oh. Try it again. All right, so um, Flack is the Beast Master, and once it loads, I'll show you the, um, the skill trees, which Honestly, I feel like that you should be able to see the skill trees from the beginning because, you know, you're picked in a character and you can't even see um, like what skills they have until I think like level five. So you got to go through that whole boring beginning. Now this is, uh, this is online. You can play this online. So I do play this with uh, my son and a couple different friends. Um, and if you guys do pick this up and you're interested in playing with me, let me know because I'll shoot you my gamer tag because I do play this. I don't want to say often, but I do play it quite, um, I do play some with my son, so. And it's more fun when you play with more people, so. All right. 
So the good news is when you are a higher level, like this guy is level 39, I think. Let's see here real quick. So this is my pet right here. And then you can choose from different pets. So let's see here. So this is a different stage uh, than the one that we were on. And then I wanted to kind of give you an idea of how large this game was. So that's a planet. This is the galaxy. So we have four different planets that we can choose from, plus our home base, which is a ship. Um, so Pandora is uh, it's pretty big, actually. Um, you can kind of get an idea on the shapes of how big the areas are. I think this is the beginning stage. But these are your, where it's, um, I guess, outlined in a bluish green are kind of the areas that you're in. The reason why there's an exclamation point on this one is because there's a quest that I can do there. Um, I haven't really been following the story too much since then. Um, but here's your mission. Uh, <laughs> I hate to say, it, embarrassingly, um, I realized later that you can organize your missions according to um, the area you're in by hitting the square button you can filter your missions so if you look i have four separate missions in the um, area of the devil's razor so if i want to stay in an area and complete a bunch of missions i can do that uh, the other thing is it tells you um, what level um, you should be in the mission and like i said i'm a level 37 so i should be able to do any of those relatively easy so, and we'll probably end up doing a couple of those. Oops. Um, a couple of things that you can do as you get into this, into the game. Um, if you look at the bottom left here, you have all of your ammo for the different weapons. Uh, you start out with a very minimal, like I, I feel like a hundred, like the very most that you carry is a hundred um, rounds of ammunition for each one. And as you get different uh, items, you can bump the amount of ammunition that you get. Uh, this is like most games. Orange is uh, our legendary weapons. Uh, blues are blues are just uh, rare or not rare. They're just they have like a special uh, skill. And then uh, the gray ones are. Um, just generic weapons um, and also most all the weapons you can sell as you go up in a level the weapons you get will be uh, more expensive so uh, right now I'm using um, uh, an SMG um, and then an assault rifle and then a pistol and then another um, another assault rifle or an, another SMG uh, I have a couple other pistols over here that I'll probably sell. Um, but, and then these right here are your relics and those uh, improve your skill tree, which I'll show you here in a second. All right, so now here's your skill tree and this is where it gets really, I don't wanna say confusing, but um, I'm a big person where I don't like looking online. Um, I don't like spoilers. I like to figure out a game on my own, which on this game is very <laughs> difficult because you don't really know what class you want to be um, until you're a certain level. So, and honestly, like most games that I've played, if there's an ability to use an animal, I usually choose that character. So um, once you get to a certain level, you can start putting um, characteristics into um, you know, a certain uh, skill set. And then honestly, like, uh, like all games like World of Warcraft, Diablo, any type where there's a, a skill tree or whatever, there's a, a recommended skill tree set or whatever. I, I don't follow icy veins and stuff like that. I just kind of make it up as I go. And I usually do fairly well. So, um, so again, we're back to the, um, the diamond where it's telling us to where to go. 
uh, Tommy to go to the angel or to go to the garage. Let's see where that is. It's weird because it tells me the garage is right here. Let's see here. Oops. Sorry, I didn't see. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I know that I've been trying to give a good idea of like the overall quality of a game. I mean, out of, I feel like out of a 10, this would probably be a solid eight, uh, seven or eight out of 10. Uh, the graphics are a little cartoony if you're into that type of thing. Um, the, the music is actually the, the music and the, um, the sound effects and everything are pretty, pretty legit. Um, although it does get re redundant and repetitive, like when you're in a certain area and when you go into a battle, it goes into like the same sound all the time. So that does get a little obnoxious for me anyhow. All right. So let's see here. Let's do this side mission real quick because it should be relatively close to me. Um, one of the th one of the things they added on this is you can slide. Not a big deal, but I'll show it to you in a second. So you can slide one by um, running, which you push your left thumbstick and hit your duck button. I hardly ever use it, but you can get a a special add on that uses your slide and um, it damages individuals. So. Let's see here real quick. All right. So uh, I was uh, telling uh, people I, I uh, really enjoy shooting in real life. I had the opportunity to go shoot this weekend for, for the first time in a, a really, really long time. And I just uh, I just got a new uh, a new weapon. Uh, it's an AR-15. It's an M&P uh, two sport, and uh, it is a lot of a lot of fun to go shooting. If if you guys have not, it's definitely a good stress relief. Um, you know, I I've been uh, you know I, I, most of the people who've been on here know I was in the military, so it's just good for me to get out and hang out with some uh, military buddies or whatever. Go, go shoot some, some guns down range or whatever. So it's a pretty good weekend. And I am looking at this, uh, where this is, I drove right by it. Uh, it I guess it's a, a weird anomaly because I also, um, I shot guns this weekend and then I, uh, build my garden up some more. So I went and shot guns and then I fixed my garden. Kind of a weird combination, I think. So, so these little barrels here um, blow up and hurt people. I probably shouldn't have done that yet, but that's okay. So um, you have different, um, you have different characters that do different or your weapons do different things um very much you have uh you have electric fire nuclear um ice so the reason why i like this this gun in particular is you see it you jump up i missed uh the reason why I like this gun in particular is because when you run out of ammo, you shoot it like it's, or you throw it like it's a grenade. So, and what we're trying to do here is we're trying to locate a, um, I have no clue, a UG back, which is, I think, a, a little, a little device. I'm never really good at finding these things because if you look on the mini map, there's a little, let's see if I can, there's this giant circle of area that it could be in. So, so, and that's uh, 
a fairly big area. It looks like it's telling me it's up top here. Now, on Borderlands 2, this is where all your special weapons came out of, is uh, out of outhouses, which makes me laugh. Look, so, oh, there we go. All right, well, that was easier than I thought. All right. Um, also, uh, yesterday I got to see a really good friend of mine from when I was uh, uh, from when I was uh, oh, when I when I first start, started in the, getting into the working in uh, this field, I ended up getting to hang out with a go over and get uh, some hostas from uh, this gentleman's uh, mom. So it was uh, it was good. Got a good hug, even though I know we're not supposed to be hugging, but. It was nice to get a nice to get the hug. Nice to get it. Uh, actually, his uh, his family is part of the reason why I got into gardening so much. Is uh, they they make hybrid tomatoes, which to me is silly, but uh, they make these tomatoes that are I don't know about the size of. I mean, they're big. They, I don't want to say they're pumpkin size, but they're fairly big. And uh, um, you know, sorry, they're really big. They are really big. But most tomatoes that are that big are not sweet. And these ones are particularly sweet. Um, I mean, I don't want to say apple sweet, but they're pretty close to it. Pretty close. I did this already. Oh man, so these missions here, um, basically we had to protect this area from, uh, from uh, this guy, uh, Skaggs coming here to protect it or whatever. So we got to prevent him from coming here and killing us basically, so. And it, it's a lot easier when you have more people because you can, actually set up perimeters and stuff like that. And on your mini map, you can kind of see where people are. Um, on, the, on the last Borderlands, um, they had a, I think everybody enjoyed the character zero. I definitely think that this one is missing. That I don't think anybody really has a favorite character on it. I think uh, most people played with Zero on Borderlands uh, 2. So again, the controls are very easy. I guess I can switch it. Uh, so what's weird is, is um, so there are sniper rifles on this, and this is not a sniper rifle. This is actually an SMG. Um, and yeah, it has a sniper scope and it's every bit as accurate, except the damage is not uh, nowhere near as good as a sniper rifle. And the other thing too, I think the reason why they got away from the whole um, zero thing, um, the character from Borderlands 2, because he was, he was more of a sniper than he was anything else. Um, but one of the things they say is that you're supposed to uh, use whatever, <laughs> I blew that guy. Um, you're supposed to use every weapon or be able to use every weapon uh, comfortably or whatever, so. And actually that, actually let me go back to that one because that is a good weapon. So. The weapons with um, that are uh, have like frost or whatever, for whatever reason, they're really hard to come by. But they're really, uh, I mean, they're my favorite weapons because they slow down the individual as they're charging you or whatever, and um, it just makes it easier for them to kill. Uh, so, oddly enough, this game kind of does take over like. Um, like a World of Warcraft type game because 
there is a there is a tank, um, which is the siren, and I have her also. Um, but the the tank takes a lot of damage, um, and actually, like as a traditional tank, like she has special skills that make her um, more apt to be uh, targeted. So um, the the siren, like she has skills that'll have uh, like all the enemies focus her, and I, mean, I think she has uh, almost. I want to say three or four times as much health as this guy, so it's it's significant. All right. So anyhow, uh, I have not been checking out. See that there's some questions here. Hold on. My bad. You know, I, you know, I do not play. I don't have a 3ds. And um, I don't know if I ever will again, to be honest. Like, I don't know if I will because the Switch, uh, I think, covers a lot of those, uh, a lot of those um, needs for a handheld game. And honestly, like, um, I mean, honestly, I think phones do too. Like, you know, for as far as like the games I like to play, like, I think my phone would cover those type of games. Um, oh, see, so this guy, this guy dropped a purple, which is, uh, I mean, it's not as good as any of the weapons I have. I can't even see what level it's for, but, oh, and then, so that's the other thing that's good about having a pet is your pet will just go attack people and you can just sit and look at people. Although your pet does have health, so you want to try to keep them keep them alive. Now there's different types of pets you can get also, depending on your, um, depending on your talent tree that you go into. Oh man. Uh, I don't know if, if you guys uh, have allergies or not, but as I said, I have allergies and uh, what I get to do with my allergies to make my allergies even worse is cut grass. So uh, I think the reason why I garden so much is because I get to kill grass. The less grass I have, um, the less grass I have to cut and uh, it makes me happy. So anyhow, back to this game. We're going to go to where these little electrical things go. Oh, this so if you saw, I, I probably should have waited a second. I didn't think, I didn't expect to kill him that quick, but um, he is a, uh, a badass, which is uh, the title. And there's different ones, like there's lunatics and like basically just different levels of them. Um, so, but they're all basically just mini bosses, which are a little more difficult to kill. So the other thing is, is on these games here, like, so Borderlands 2 money wasn't really relevant, but on this game it is because uh, ammunition, for whatever reason, you go through relatively quick. So you want to make sure that you do have a, um, a lot of money. Also, the way you build up your um, ammunition is you have to buy these little kits. Um, and... Those kits, they start out inexpensive. I think they're like $1,000 to start out. Actually, let's see here. Let me, I think I can fast travel to this guy. Let's see here. Yeah, so I can fast travel to this, uh, to the, this area. So just like all the other games that I've played, like um, Assassin's Creed and whatnot, uh, you, <laughs> They're, they basically are following the same, I don't know, genre where you have skill trees and you have fast travel and it just, it seems kind of basically the same game with different graphics and whatnot. Um, and that's not to take away from Borderlands 3 because it is a really fun game. Uh, I've probably put 30 hours in it at least. And, 
and I probably put more into it when I when I get the time. But it's a one of those games where, you know, if it's rainy out and you don't got anything to do, or it's a good game to sit down and get lost in for a little bit. Uh, let's see here real quick. So that's done. And see where we got nineteen thousand dollars, and then we got an epic sniper rifle. And what we'll do is we'll go to our ship, maybe. Sanctuary. So our ship is right here. So this is where um, on Borderlands 2, like Sanctuary was uh, basically an island that teleported into the air or whatever. It didn't really teleport, but it floated into the air. Um, and it got destroyed. So now Sanctuary is a ship. Hopefully it doesn't get destroyed. So. And then I think I'm running somewhat low on time. I got about seven minutes. So I'll show you the ship a little bit real quick. And when I was talking about, um, so the one thing that I really like about this ship is that you get collectibles for, um, for your room or for your area. So I think this is, so you get your own bank where you can store items. So if I wanted to start out a new character, um, I have weapons for every level to make it easier to level up that character. Um, not that it's really difficult to do, um, but you get, uh, you basically improve your ship throughout the, throughout the game, which is, it's nice. It's a nice little feature if you're into the whole collectible type thing where you want to get a hundred percent completion rating or whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh, Borderlands 2 is also um, a VR game, which is really fun also. So down here is your, uh, it's basically where you store all your uh, items that you find. So like all of these here are like different types of cars you can get and different types of armor which is nice so you can kind of understand how much more you got to collect. So all of those uh, red areas or whatever, um, you can see that you, you know, what you need. So energy cells or whatnot. Um, the one thing I'll show you before, uh, before I hop off and just chat for a little bit is um, the, that, there it is. That's uh, so this is where you get your weapon or your ammo upgrades. So for me to get an additional hundred ammo, I need seven hundred twenty-nine thousand um, dollars for one hundred and forty. Like I mean, it goes up. Like uh, the blue is, I think it goes gray, green, blue, or something like that. So luckily, I only need two hundred forty-three thousand dollars for these, but uh, I probably will not be getting those anytime soon. Uh, anyhow, so, uh, let's see. All right, I got four minutes left. I'm going to go ahead and just hop off the game here and chat with some of you guys real quick. Uh, I feel like you know, I am failing miserably on getting the games that you want to play. So I will do better once I get my play new PlayStation 4 back. So. Uh, see here, CJ, you have a question. I'm gonna unmute you real quick. I put Pokemon Go on my phone. Say it again. I put Pokemon Go on my phone. On your, I love Pokemon Go. Do you actually walk, go around your town and? Mm -hmm. Man, that is that is such a great thing to do, and and actually that's a really good idea, um, for us to do here. Um, so if you don't know, like Pokemon Go is kind of like geocaching. It's like virtual geocaching, right? Like where you go around mm -hmm. and you catch Pokemon that are around you. Um, you can ask eggs too. Yep. And then you can uh, go to different landmarks or whatever. So if you go like, for example, and it, it's really cool because there's landmarks and this is crazy because I've, I, you know, I'm born and raised in Newark. Um, there is actually a civil war site here that I had no clue about. Um, 
you know, and I, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it took me there and there's a, a monument there. And so I think it's really cool what Pokemon Go has done um, as far as making it interactive and letting you travel around and whatnot. Let's see here. All right. So do you guys um, have any questions, any concerns um, about Borderlands 3? No, point I um, gave you. Yeah, I'll, so I have, I do have Spyro 3, and I did download uh, the Ghostbusters game, so once I get my PlayStation 4, um, you know, I'll be able to at least pop those up real quick. Uh, well, Jose, you got any uh, so I didn't hear what you said, CJ. I'm a level 27 on Pokemon Go. You're on what level? 12 is 27. 27, that's good. Um, Jose, do you have any questions? Any input? Sorry. Go ahead, Jose. Will you start over? Sorry about that. Yeah, the other interpreter is doing the voicing. <laughs> so I recently started playing this one game, and Raquel, sorry. In some new ones. Okay. Okay, today I just, um, with my laptop, um, it was kind of late. Um, I, I recently made a plane and it took a long time. I went step by step and I have it here. I want to show it to you. Is, is that a model? Yeah that I build. Yeah, I have this one too. Oh, that, listen, so um, not to not to give too much away, but next week I'm actually going to do this from my house. And I have about a couple thousand toys from the early 90s and uh, 2000s. So, uh, and I, even though I will be showcasing video games, uh, I'll probably show a small portion of my toy collection also. All of them are still in boxes and pretty well conditioned. So I think you'll you'll like that. Yes, yes, I will. Cool. Um, right. I've, been well, listen, uh, I've been staying at home. I can't go out. So I've been doing these things here. <laughs> yes, well, listen, I love it, man. So I enjoy um, it. It's a lot of fun. Are you a... Uh, are you a Star Wars fan or what, what is your genre? Do you like Marvel, Star Wars, Star Trek? Yes, I like Star Wars, yes. I like I like it all. Like I get in debates what I like better, Star Wars or Star Trek, and I just I don't care. I like, just full on nerd. Like I love it all. Perfect. Aliens, Predator. All of them. Yeah, I have a, a bunch that I like. Yeah. Me too. All right. Well, I'm going to mute myself and let Aaron take over. Cool. Thanks, Gary. Um, another good episode. Thank you, Jose, for jumping in there and asking some questions and making some comments. Love seeing you on here and Ra Raquel and then Carla. I'll come back and see Ra Raquel do her segment at 2 o'clock. We're looking forward to that later on on Pals TV. Um, but that wraps up our segment here live from Heath. So we'll be back in about 15 minutes, coming to you from Columbus for some weird science. So see you soon.